Welcome to Ezika Academy YouTube channel. In this lecture, I want to examine set theory, the use of Venn diagram. This is my second video on the topic. If you are coming across my lecture for the first time, please like the video, share it with others, and subscribe so that you don't miss my upcoming videos. To my returning subscribers, I say thank you for being part of this channel. A Venn diagram is a geometrical representation of sets. The geometrical representation of sets that is Venn diagram. That is a diagrammatical representation of sets by closed figures. Diagrammatical representation of sets by closed figures. It was developed by John Vane. It was developed by John Vane. So now, what are the steps for solving set theory? We are two items are involved. We are two items are involved. We are two items are involved. Let's say the items involved are A and B. Then you will need to take the following step or steps. Step one, draw the Venn diagram and label it accordingly. Step one, draw the Venn diagram and uh, label it accordingly. Label the, that Venn diagram accordingly. That is step number one. Step number two, insert the figures at the intersection of the two. And where this is not given, represented by letter X. Insert. The figures at the inter at the at the point at the point of the intersection of the two items items. At the point of the intersection of the two items, and where this is not given, and where this is not given, represent represent this by letter X. So inside the figures at the point of the intersection of the two. Items and where this is not given, represent this by letter X. That is second step. Step three, determine the value of the region involving only one of the items. Determine, determine the value of the region representing. Only one of the items. I will still solve the one that will involve three items in this very video. Number step number four. Then solve the problem. Solve the problem using the Venn diagram. These are the steps you need to take when only two items are involved. Then I want to provide a work example on this. Example one, out of 500 students in Kabim, 400 passed mathematics and 200 passed English language. If 30 of the students did not pass either of the two subjects, how many students passed both subjects? How many students passed both subjects. Now let's have the solution to the question. Solution. So there are two subjects involved. Let mathematics be X or uh, let, let that be M. And the uh, English language be E. 
So there are two subjects. We have mathematics and English. So now let's draw a Venn diagram. This is mathematics. Then this is for English language. This is the universal set. This is the rectangle region. Now, I've told you, if you go by the first step, I've told you to draw the Venn diagram uh, properly labeled. Then that has been done. Then the next step is to identify the region involving two of the items. Then you insert the figure, and where that is not given, I said you should represent that by letter X. Well, to have many students pass both subjects, so the region that involves both mathematics and English language is this region. So let that be denoted by letter X since it is not given in value. Then the third step is to the insert or determine the value of the region involving only one of the items, which is this place. This is math for mathematics only. And this is for English language only. Now, how many passed mathematics only? Out of 500 students, the 500 students, that is our universal set, which is 500. Universal set is 500. 500 students interviewed, 400 passed the mathematics. 400 passed mathematics. They didn't say 400 passed mathematics only. If the word only is there, then you would have put, inserted that 400 here. The whole of this circle is 400, which also include letter X. Remember, X is for those that pass both, math, both subjects. That is for X. So this place is 400. That means X is inclusive. So we need those that pass only mathematics. Those that pass only mathematics to get this region, you have 400, then you remove this one from it, minus X. 400 minus X. Now, let's go further. And 200 passed English language. 200 passed English language. The whole of this circle is for English. And X is inclusive. Remember, X is for those that pass the two subjects. They didn't say 200 pass English language only. If the word only had been there, you would have put that 200 here. But since the word only is not there, that means this X is inclusive. So to get the, those that pass English language only, you have 200 minus X. Back to the question. If 30 of the students did not pass either of the two subjects, 30 did not pass either. You know, this is for mathematics, this is for English. The 30 is outside these two. So that means if they didn't pass either of the two subjects, inside that 30, outside the two items, 30 outside, they didn't pass either of the two. Then how many pass the two subjects now? How many students pass both subjects? So you want to find the value of x. Now, you now sum up everything in this Venn diagram and equate it to 500. Now let's do that. We have 400 minus x, 400 minus x plus letter x plus 200 minus x plus 30. And everything equals to the universal set, which is 500. So which is 400? Minus x. Let's open the bracket. 400 minus x plus x plus 200 minus x plus 30. Everything equals to 500. Let's collect the light terms. 400 and plus 200. That is 400 plus 200. That is 600. Plus 30. That is 630. 630. Plus Minus s plus s, that is zero. Minus times plus is minus. So this we cancel this. Here you are left with minus x. So that means you have 630 minus x equals to 500. 630 minus x equals to 500. So now let's solve for x. x minus x equals to 500. Minus 630. 
So minus x equal to minus 130. If you subtract this, so minus cancel minus. Therefore, x equals to 130. So and now go back to the question. How many students passed both subjects? Therefore, 130 students. 130 students passed both subjects. That is the solution to example one. This marks the end of this lecture. In my next video, I will examine how to solve set theory involving three different items with the use of Venn diagram. Please drop the love emoji, share the video with others, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, Ezekiel.